Keep an eye on these two guys. And before oh, the puck is dropped, Darcy Hordachuk and Sandy McCarthy. Where does this come from, Tom? Oh, yeah. They've only played one game this year. I have no idea. I think Hordachuk wanted to start something to get his team into this thing, and McCarthy obliged him. This is a team that, on the road, oh boy, there's a right and a right and a right. Hordachuk, and here comes McCarthy. Hordachuk has just got his head down throw. Here comes McCarthy with uppercuts. Wham. Oh, man. McCarthy looks bloody he on the left him. side of his head. Well, he took a couple, but then he ended up coming back, and he dropped Hordachuk. The kid wanted to go, and he ended up getting dropped. McCarthy going, what did this thing start for? Kirk and Fred. I'll tell you what, you know, from my point of view, the Rangers are playing an inferior team here, and I think for the Rangers, as their fans are into this, three seconds into the game, the Ranger fans are fired up, and I think the Rangers team will be fired up. The goalie for the Atlanta Thrashers. Rangers have a power play for 30 seconds as we get set here in the second period at the Garden. Scoreless tie. Off the faceoff. Ryan Pothier goes all the way back. Rangers get it. 20 seconds to go in the man advantage. This will be icing. That's not, oh, they waved it off. Oh, yeah, they did, yeah. See if the Rangers can get one last setup here with 10 seconds to go with the man advantage. Lindros is big body. Now Flurry sets up York. And another save by Nalichka. Leach lets go. Score! Brian Leach from the point. Not a power play goal. They'll take it anyway. You bet. Nalichka made some save off of York. Watch the play in the corner. Flurry fakes a shot to pass in the save. What a save that was, but the rebound got away, and an elite sweater ripped from just outside the top of the circle. I don't think it hit anybody. It was the top half of the net. The Rangers finally, on their 25th shot, get the goal scored. Up over the right shoulder of former Ranger goaltender, Milan Nalichka. 1-0 Rangers. So two seconds after the power play expired, the Rangers finally put one past the Thrashers. So it's 1-0. And the Rangers get the first goal, and so often that's a key to their success. Brian Leach put it high over the right shoulder of Nalichka. And Brian Leach last night played over 30 minutes, almost 31 minutes. First time this season over 30, Al. And that was because they went with the six defenseman after Thomas Kolchak was tossed out of the game. And he played a ton last night against Alexei Kovalov and played very well. Kovalov tried and tried and tried, and every time he tried, Leach was there. And uh, Leach gets his sixth, one nothing Rangers. John, it's not a power play goal, but for all intents and purposes, it is a power play goal when it comes only two seconds after the expiration. Yeah, that's because the man coming out of the box couldn't get back in the play. Leach from York and Flurry at 32. It's called an even strength goal and chance there for Atlanta. Deflected by Mike Richter. Kovalchuk. Fans have been into it since the beginning. Dvorak moving up with Mark Messier. Left side Seeger, and Messier could not control. This will be waved off. Now it rolls toward Nalichka's end of the ice. Started with a huge presentation from the Atlanta firefighters and the Thrashers to the Firefighters of New York City. That got a huge standing ovation. Then there was the fight of McCarthy and Hornichuk. That got the fans emotionally into it. Then it was the heavy hitting. And now the Rangers score first. Now comes Michael Samuelson, our in-between periods guest. It seemed to take Sal Messino off his game. <laughs> Sweeps it aside. And it's finally picked up by Tavardadet. Did I forget a consonant there? <laughs> you may have added a couple. <laughs> Ripped him down on the seat of his pants. That was your quest. Schwartz Bart is the extra, the other guy. <laughs> Thank you, John. <laughs> oh, baby. Well, I remember when Carpenter came to the Rangers, I couldn't even say that name. But we're getting better at it, Al. Yes. All of us. As the game becomes more international. Oh. Heavy hit in the corner. Klocek on 
Hornichuk. Nothing called. Chance oh, in the good slot. Shot. Hornichuk hit hard by Klocek. Harper was smart of that. Now Tapper. And Manny Malhotra spins it around. Malhotra gets the buzz at the garden going wide. Behind him is Sandy McCarthy. He centers, and it just eludes Steve McKenna. Smartadet. Moving up with Rear Richter. Leave off his body. Now big Steve McKenna. Chris Tamer. And the Thrashers just want to make a change, so they dump it in. 16 and change to go in the second period. The Rangers have played from the very beginning with a lot of energy. In a back-to-back -back night scenario. Look at this chance for Sedano Seeger. Rather Mike York. Stick down by Malakoff. Now it's York again. On his body, he saves it. Lindros, York, spin, shoots! Pad save. What a shift for Mike York. York battling some more. Lindros is there. Flicks it in front. Perkis for the Atlanta Thrashers. Out comes Sean O'Donnell. The fans applauding that Rangers shift. Here's Theo Fleury. Dumping it ahead for Lindros. The blast! Oh, baby. You miss the net with a shot like that. It hits the glass. It's not staying in the ring. It's going into the stands. Nobody on the ice knew where the puck went. Lindros just missed the top corner. The puck ricocheted. Off the faceoff. Ulanov. Intercepted by the Thrashers. Heatley. And now. Gronquist. Rangers get it back. Here's a chance to Borak coming in and another save by Nalichka in the glove. Yeah, Dvorak was really unhappy with the way he played last night in Pittsburgh. Said it was one of his first worst games he's ever played in the last four years. Yet in this game, he's starting to get some chances. This one to shoot. Nalichka just threw his body up in that area. And scorers never like to see goalies and their frustration. They never like to think the goalies are getting in their heads, but Dvorak couldn't resist. Oh, he, he slammed the sideboards with his stick well, twice. That was a big play. I mean, it, Nalichka does the job here to keep his team in this thing. He's kept his team in it all the way through. He's already seen 27 shots, and we're not five minutes in to the second period. Four check by Nedved. And the Rangers take over. Brian Barrard dumps it in hard. Stopped by Nalichka behind the net. Around the boards. Stopped at the point by Barrard. Samuelson, Ulanov in pursuit. The Rangers keep it deep again. But this time it comes to center. And Rangers offside. Let's see what we have here. Win a chance to meet. And with the Rangers going to Philadelphia, you know what's going to happen with Eric Lindros in that game. Yeah, just a quiet night at the office. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and the Thrasher score on a fabulous feed in front. It's Danny Heatley, the rookie. The rookie has... As far as rookies go, he's now tied with the lead as he hustles across to the bench. One, that was a great play all the way up the ice by the number one line for Atlanta. And Nalichka, the goaltender, hangs in. Next thing you know, they get a goal. We're tied at one. And once he got position on Flurry, there was oh, nothing yeah. that Flurry could physically do except buzz in the other direction. And that's what he does with Eric Lindros. Lindros sends it back. Mike York couldn't hold on. But York gets it back. Sends it for Lindros. Score! for Eric Lindros. They never gave up, and York kept it in. Congratulations to Eric Lindros. What a shot this was. His line just gave up a goal. They come right back and get one. I don't think he even looked. By instincts, like Phil Esposito used to shoot the puck, he knew where the opening was, and this thing almost was ripped right through the net itself. Look at York hustle. Ray Ferraro's on the puck. York steals it away. Feeds Lindros. He just turns and rips it top corner. And I mean top corner. Lindros waited. Smart players do that. York's even smarter. He set it up and what a shot. Well, just like that, the Rangers get it back. The 300th goal, 10th of the season for Eric Lindros. Here's a chance for Atlanta back the other way. Richter responds with a great glove save. 
Another shot that just goes wide. And I see that number one line right back on the ice for Atlanta and almost tie the game up. Things have opened up here in this one. Kovalchuk, Richter's got it underneath his pads. 13.55 to go. Great stuff from the Rangers' top line. Bench. Lindros from York. Lindros is 10th of the season with his eyes still bloody from a high stick. Here's another chance for Atlanta. Richter's all over the place on his back. So was Danny Heatley who had the puck. He was making it happen. Ulanov sending it ahead for Johansson. Peter Nedved is there. Now Michael Samuelson tried the backhand flick. That rolled off his stick. Now Johansson, bothered by Reardon. Johansson fakes right, goes left. Dumps it deep on the reverse. Nalichka's there. Rangers leading it 2 to nothing, on a milestone goal from Eric Lindros. And doesn't it feel like we've had a milestone every yeah. game lately with the Rangers? Cobalt Troop blows it off his stick. Samuelson's there for the Rangers. Gets it ahead for Nedved. Nedved cross ice for Berard pinching in. He's taken off the puck by Yarnquist. Bob Corker. He's able to get it out to center. Now Heatley and Brian Barore beats uh, Cork into the puck. Lindros. Here's an opening as the Rangers see the poke slowly go through the crease. Lindros gets away from Kowalski. The one thing, John, that I, I, I guess comes from having not seen Eric Lindros play enough and really appreciating the night in, night out performance him getting better every game is that he's one of those rare athletes that makes other guys on the ice instantly better oh yeah when, when you're the best player on the team it should be when you're on the top of your game being the prime of your career then he can beat you in a lot of different ways and it makes the other team out pay so much attention to him but not every great player can do that no, I agree I agree well you take a Pavel Bore he was a great goal scorer but he doesn't make his team better in my opinion look at this rush by Malakoff off the stick of York Malikov looked like Leach coast to coast. York for Lindros. Great move to elude the check. Lindros for Flurry. Now Lindros again. He lost it. Almost an odd man rush for Atlanta. Well, what I was saying about Pavel Bore, he's a great goal scorer, and he helps his team if he's scoring goals. But if he doesn't score goals, then he doesn't become... And I know he's working on his defensive part of the game right now under Dwayne Sutter coaching in Florida. But he's in the doghouse but, now down well, there. Well, he was. He's kind of. But he's. But if he's not scoring goals, he doesn't do it like a, a Lindros does, who can win face-offs, oh, who can on. be physical. Give me a Chateau Bow Wow. Give me just one. <laughs> he was in the Chateau Bow Wow a little there bit, you. but he's trying to climb out. There you go. <laughs> Behind Richter. Right there to take it for the Rangers. Sedano Seeger. Off the stick of Radek Dvorak. Dropping back is Dave Carpa. Coming up on 10 minutes to go, which would bring us to the midway point of this game, which the Rangers lead 2 to 1. Dvorak carries and carries some more. Now comes in on Nalichka. And the puck is behind the net. Seeger. Big chance for Dvorak on the feed to the slot. Dvorak back for Seeger. Pretty busy shift for those three. You know, the Rangers average. Lindros both have been up top. And there's the souvenir puck. And those are the nicely manicured nails of Vivian Dittman down there showing it to us. I was hoping they belonged to her. I, if it was one of the trainers. No. <laughs> it was not Mr. Ramsey. <laughs> Puck behind Nalichka. Sandy McCarthy's big body goes in. Manny Malhotra is there. Malhotra and McCarthy. Just missing on a connection with Steve McKenna. McKenna, Malhotra, Rayom for Atlanta. Malhotra with the puck. Sends it in front. And a uh, save by Rayom on Steve McKenna. Two real good pinches by Brian Leach kept the play alive. Other evident is all their lines are getting shots. This was the last one. 34 shots, and we just passed the midpoint of the second game. Of the second period. Feels like the second game for Nalichka. 34 shots already out. That's a busy night. 
Uh, the first four saves of this game were spectacular. Yeah. But the Thrashers averaged 34.8 a game against. They've already given up 34. We just passed the midpoint. That 34.8 that they give up is the most of any team. And that's not good when you have so one of the this, worst offenses in the NHL. Yeah. If this keeps going, this could be 60 shots. They've only scored 36 on the season. And the Rangers doubling them up with quality chances. So far, and the Leafs have kept them in a one-goal game. Theo Fleury to that drop pass. Entering the zone. Ulanov shot it too high, and the Rangers have been able to score their two goals high on Nalichka both times. Nedved, a little too much with the stick, and he slides outside the zone, so the Rangers have to regroup. Nedved circles, sends it ahead to Berard. And a whistle stops play. Go to the MSG Sports Desk for an update. It's too bad about uh, Matthew Schneider had a hernia operation the other day. Fine defenseman, former Ranger playing with L.A., and he's out approximately six to eight weeks. So the Kings will miss him. When you cover sports for a living, you throw the word surgery out there like uh, it's nothing, but it's always a major deal no matter what they do. Michael Samuelson on the puck for the Rangers. Drops it off for Nedved. Nedved for Berard. And on goal, it's a pileup. Puck is loose. Nedved's got it. Out for Olanov. Just missed. And his puck was rolling, and he shot it up over top. But again, a nice five-man rush by the Rangers here. Berard was in on the play, and then Olanov was in on the play. Johansson. Gets it deep. Samuelson is there. Crunching along the boards. Johansson back to help. Off the stick of Nedved. Good pressure by the Rangers to keep it deep. Ferrard. Nedved taken down. Puck rolls to the far boards. And a penalty. It'll be Ray Ferraro who will go for tripping. And the Rangers are just controlling every aspect of the game right now. The puck's theirs. So They're playing keep away in the offensive zone. The... The... Nedved turned so quickly. Ray Ferraro is not a guy that, that throws knees out, and that was kind of a reaction. And thankfully, nothing happened. Meanwhile, Budweiser salutes America's designated drivers. We all make a difference. Ferraro for tripping at 12:32. Rangers are 0 for 3 on the power play, but their first goal just missed being a power play goal by two seconds. And they've had 12 shots on the power play. Malakoff fanning onto this flurry. Puck behind the net. Can the Thrashers clear? They do. 7-10 to go, second period. Mike York up for Brian Leach. Leach carrying with some speed. But the Rangers are just offside on the approach. It's a good play by the penalty killing unit. Staying up at the blue line to force Leach. Therefore, the offside. Especially, You know, let me tell you a story about Slager. He was out with an injury, Al. He had a hip injury, and his team really missed him. So he offered to pay his own flight to go to Minnesota two games ago just to be there for support. You know what he does before a game? He dips his head in a big bucket of ice water and then pulls it out, whips the cold water and roars and screams and the players love it and it gets them, it gets them up, it gets them into the game and they, they missed them frankly. This team's had a lot of injuries, especially to their defense and Slager's a rugged guy who plays hard and I think they really appreciated the fact that he's back in the lineup. They got a point the other night against Nashville even though they've struggled here. John, that sounds like something the guys in slap shot. Well, uh, you know, hockey's hockey, and sometimes you got to be a little off the wall and have some fun. How does that get started, you know? No idea. That's a good question. I said to the Atlanta TV guys, they should tape that one time and get it on the air so we can all see it. <laughs> Rangers have 50 seconds to go with the man advantage. Haven't been able to generate much here. Atlanta gets it out to the neutral zone. Leach for Radek Dvorak. And that goes all the way back into the Rangers' own zone. They didn't want that. This is a little bit more dangerous. Richter's forced to make an acrobatic save. Tony Herkus, the veteran, pretty good with offense, makes a nice play. Leach the other way with Messier. Messier scans the scene. They score! Seeger from Mark Messier. It's 3-1. to one. What a save by Mike Richter, huh? What a pass by Mark Messier. And this time, Zeleno Seeger finishes back in the lineup. 
You know, Braddock Dvorak made a pass back that didn't work, so Malakoff had to go back and try to get the puck. Look at Tony Herkus lean. He has the one-handed shot. Richter sprawls and makes a save. It could have been tied at two. The Cannon Business Solutions look at Richter making a giant save. <laughs> well, the other team is short-handed. The Rangers then come right up the ice. Leaps to Messier, and look at this bullseye. Beautiful. This time, Seeger finishes down low. The Rangers have a 3-1 lead. What a pass that was. What a pass. Seeger scores. The Rangers lead 3-1. Seeger's fourth of the season. And after no goals in the first period, we've got four to talk about with 5.40 to go in this second period. Samuelson lays off for Ulanov. Ulanov drops it off for Samuelson. First year Ranger, stick handling. Behind the net, looking, waiting, backhander. Out, out it goes to Ulanov. And a deflected puck to Kowalczyk. Kowalczyk coming in on Brian Burrard. His shot deflected wide. Ulanov there for the Rangers. He's able to get it out to center. It'll go all the way to the other end of the ice. Where the Thrashers take over. Seeger from Messi and Leach at 14.06. The Rangers get a power play goal, their first of the game. Nedved. Oh, dangerous backhand pass. It was a blind one. Samuelson. Waits, carries. Rangers barely onside. For Johansson. Keeps it deep for Nedved. This line tries to get maybe some cycling going. Cotier. Lots of footwork. The puck rolls around. Nedved tries to break his stick free from Chris Tamer. Johansson. Nice pass. Sandy McCarthy, but he gives it away. Coming out is Kowalczyk, and he's taken down. There'll be a penalty. Yeah, it's a hook and call. So much speed. Yes, he flies. It will not be a penalty shot. There were two Rangers there, but it is a shorthanded. Rangers On the faceoff, Vladimir Malikov, Radek Dvorak now battling along the boards. Yuri Slager, number 71. Radek Dvorak went down, head off the side of the net. Messier, first to it, and clears to center. Slager looks over his shoulder. Four check by Messier and Radek Dvorak. Now they retreat as Atlanta tries to carry in. Tommy Callio. Richter sticks aside a shot. 3.40 to go in the second period. Rangers up 3 to 1. Malik Malikov took a hard stick hit. Bartechko stick handling right through the crease. Low check in the box for hooking. That one off the side of the net. Maybe got a little bit of the post. Dvorak's been on for a full minute. Hasn't been able to get off the ice. Bartechko. Sends it out to the point. Loose, Oof. and it's underneath Richter's pad. What a battle with Ray Ferraro and Brian Leach. Ray Ferraro goes into those areas where you have to pay a big, huge, nasty price to score goals. And when you're in there, the price you pay is getting cross-checked and slashed and smashed. Galio sends it toward the goal. It's deflected aside. Pascal Rayom is there for the Thrashers. Now Kowalczyk. Heatley. Caberlet. Kowalczyk. Caberlet fakes the shot. Samuelson made him think otherwise. Now Heatley, who's got the goal for Atlanta? Caberlet won't shoot the puck. He's got a good shot. He's been in shooting position here, won't shoot. And John, you saw that aggressive play by Brian Leach. Talked to him the other day. I said, I saw them take a shot of you smiling during the Philadelphia game like you were having so much fun. He said, you have no idea <laughs> how great it is to have this back. It's been a long four years, Al. Heatley, lots of perimeter stuff on this power play. They've had it set up. Power play's over. York dives down to block it. Saved by Richter, and it goes over the goal. Kowalczyk. And now Dave Carpa, both teams at equal strength. Under two minutes to go in the second period in which the Rangers have built up a two-goal lead. Atlanta now 0 for 3. The Rangers have killed off 26 straight. 
If I told you that after the first week, what would you have said? Boy, you know, Ted Green said it well to, to uh, Sal Messina during the intermission that the players were embarrassed with the way their penalty killing went throughout the month of October. But they Plus the psyche of the team, the moment they give up a, a penalty, yeah. you think you're giving up a goal in the process. Uh, well, it, that's what, what was happening. Flow check to the puck, but it's deflected behind Richter. Tapper. Richter deflected that one, and I... I think it went over the glass. Hordacek was hit again by Klocek. Klocek has been hitting people, Al. He got tossed last night for boarding. And he looked at the cost. Oh. And another good save in this game. Both goalies have been very good. Richter to the glove with 112 to go. Yeah, Ray Ferraro wins a draw there. Moved it back nicely and a good shot. Quietly, Richter's had a solid game too, Al. His team's up 3-1. They've had a ton of shots themselves. But Richter's done a lot of this. That was a nice save, and he held on for the next faceoff. It'll be Ferraro again against Eric Lindros. Malikov to the puck. Bartetsko there. Bartetsko out from behind, waiting, shooting. Hit the post. Nobody took him out. He was able to set up off the stick of Mike York. Lindros. Well, the Rangers will go to the locker room up three to one, but knowing that they started doing some weird things in a passing sense, they started giving Drop Atlanta passes. some dangerous yeah. opportunities. Drop passes and didn't get the puck deep. Here now, Lindros threw it deep a moment ago. Malakoff throws it deep here. This is what happens. Lindros, stick handle, score! Vladimir Malakoff. It's a very special night for Eric Lindros. Four-one Rangers. See what happens when you get the puck deep? For a period of about six or seven minutes, the Rangers didn't do that. And then Lindros didn't have a play, threw it deep. The puck came out. Malikov didn't have a play. Look what he does. Cross corner. The Rangers dart in and watch the move by Lindros as he looks up, makes everybody down to the ice, the defenseman and the goaltender, and Malikov gets his second goal. There was a forced play in the corner that forced the bad pass that was picked off by Lindros. It was either Flurry or York that got in there and made the play. It was Flurry. And you can see the man go down. Slager was the man that turned the puck over, and the Rangers lead 4 1. And there's more evidence as to how Lindros makes a player better. Some great stick handling gives Malikov a place where he can come through. Thomas Klocek, a holding call. As we have 21.8 seconds to go in the period, drags his man down the ice and goes to the box. You know, when Lindros faked the shot, Pothier, the other defenseman, came over and was down. Nalichka went down. That on that feed. 19-24, the time of the goal, but a Klocek holding penalty gives Atlanta a power play chance here that could carry over to the third period. But the Rangers have a three-goal lead, 4-1. to one. On the power play for Atlanta, we saw it in the first period. They put the big kid, the big tall guy, Rayom, right in front of Richter. And it makes a difference as this period winds down. Rangers have had 39 shots through two periods. They lead 4-1. They're taking care of business. And quietly, Mike Richter, too, has had a strong game. Eric Maybe the best. He very well may do. He could do more than just score goals. You've got to be a complete player to be the complete package and, and a star in the NHL. Where if you're only the one-dimensional goal scorer, you're not much use. For the first half of this game, as Richter makes a stave, uh, the Rangers had, like the Knicks, some rebounding problems. Then they solved that and lead it 4-1. I want to take a moment to uh, tell everybody about a great event that's going to go on on Long Island at SUNY Farmingdale the day after Thanksgiving. Soccer.org for more information. That's the day after Thanksgiving out on Long Island. Uh, I hope it works out well for them. Nalichka, it's, uh, it's mercy time. He's been taken out of the net after two periods after playing brilliantly. And Damian Rhodes is now playing goal for the third period for the Thrashers. Surprise you, John? No, I think it's 4-1 now, Al, and their team doesn't score goals. And Nalichka, I mean, he gave everything he had. It's, it's like mercy. I mean, he was the reason. It was a one-goal game there for a while, and then the Rangers got the two extra ones late. Rangers looking to get points in eight consecutive games and maybe restart a new streak. Here's a chance in the slot. Richter up to the task. Puck is loose. Ferrard on the case. Now Messier. 
Heatley, sticked aside by Richter. Atlanta plays Buffalo at home tomorrow night. Al, I would I would think that Nalichka would be back in goal, so maybe they're just resting him for that reason. Kowalczyk. And they score. With 26 seconds to go and the man advantage that carried over into the third period, it's 4-2. So now the Rangers have that dreaded two-goal lead. And that ends the streak of Ranger penalty kills at 26 straight. Yeah, they've gone 26. Atlanta's now one for four. You see Kowalczuk on the puck, looking, looking, looking. Finally finds somebody open. Pretty good backhander, huh? Wow, pretty good shot. And it's now 4-2. There's the backhander up top by Rayom, who was added to this team. He's playing for Chicago eight or nine minutes a game. And that's been doubled playing for Atlanta. And he's a fitter for them, playing the power play. And he gets the goal. So not what the Rangers obviously wanted to do in the opening two minutes of the third period. Puck rolls to the far corner. Mike York checked away from him. Pulled in by Vladimir Malikov, who's had a very strong game. He sends it the length of the ice, and it will be icing on the Rangers with 18.20 to go in the third. Budweiser salutes America's designated drivers. We all make a difference. Rayom, his second, a power play goal. from Cap So the game's tight again now. Only a two-goal lead by the Rangers with 18.20 to go in the third period. You know, if you play the numbers and you give Mike Richter four goals, and here's another chance as Richter's forced to scramble all over the place. Caberlet, number 14, was the man who came in on him. Leach. Looked like the Rangers just forgot about Calio. And he just moved in, and Richter makes quietly a big save. Interception by York. The flurry was inside the blue line, so offsides will bring the face off outside. York's done a lot of that, picking off passes through the middle, but this time he's offside. You know, let's, let's watch and see. Save, it was 4-2, it could have been 4-3. Papier backhands it. Up ahead for Tapper. Papier again. Gets it deep. First for the puck is Dave Carpa, who hits Svartbanen. Samuelson is there. Tapper. For Herkus. And another oh. big save by Mike Richter. Oh, baby. What a pass. And one of the Rangers very upset. Looks like Carpa. Tell you what, the Rangers had the three goal lead going into the third, the dreaded three goal lead. And this Atlanta club has come out to start the third period, and they're doing the right things. Watch this save by Mike Richter. The pass is a beauty, absolute beauty by Herkus. There's the quick shot, but not up high. And Richter makes just a brilliant save. Number three is Pothier out of RPI. He's being marked and checked, and Johansson just lets him go. Doesn't see him. I mean, too late. I mean, he was three strides past A.J. Johansson and moved in and Richter had to be brilliant just brilliant on the play watch the left side brilliant save Johansson didn't pick him up out my groin hurts watching that <laughs> <laughs> who goes from right post to left post pass faster than Mike Richter and the uh, chance for the Rangers in comes Dvorak waiting and the uh, goal comes off its moorings Mike nice. Messier was on the offside. Pass up ice by Seeger, who's played pretty well here back in the lineup. Moves the puck to Dvorak for the two-on-one, and then Messier missed the open side. A timely pass across. Seeger there made the play, trapping the defenseman. And there you see the two-on-one set up, set up, set up. Beautiful pass. And Messier just pulled the puck a little bit wide. And then the goaltender moving across, who has not faced a shot yet, talking about Damian Rhodes in this third period. Knock the net off to Mooring. How much does Messier miss the net by? Not much. And the left skate, the left skate of Rhodes catches the goalpost and knocks it right off to Mooring. And how is the edge of that skate? Not damaged. On we go. Messier for Seeger. Seeger stops, centers it in front. Messier couldn't settle it down. Out Cavaltro. Rangers try to keep it in. Not the start that the Rangers wanted at all in this third period. Heatley moves in. Scored the first goal for Atlanta to tie the game at one. 
Berard. Cross ice intended for Dvorak. Intercepted. Heatley in a race for it with Ulanov. And Heatley sends it through the slot. There's Kovalchuk. Two young players for Atlanta. Playing well. Corkum. Up in the air it goes. Comes down for Ulanov. And now Messier. Slowly. Feeds Dvorak. Dvorak stops. And it's poke checked away. Heatley carries across the blue line. Heatley for Bob Corker. Checked by Berard. McCarthy puts his body into the play. You know, Heatley knocked down Ulanov from behind. Ulanov wanted to nail him back and didn't. And it's good that he kept his cool with a two goal lead. You don't want to take a retaliation penalty. Rangers need a few good, solid shifts here to settle things down, but a giveaway shot just wide. Sean Donovan, number 22, leeches hit hard. McCarthy battling Ray Ferraro, kept in by Tamer. And in on goal, it's grabbed by Mike Richter. Hordacek was the player that you mentioned bumped into Brian Leach. He's been hammered a couple of times in this game, but he keeps coming back. He's a tough kid. Here's the puck in the air, and watch Heatley come in from behind. And there he shoves down Olanov. Now Olanov will get up, and he's thinking right there about getting it back. And then he holds up and looks back to the right where the referee was. And you don't, you don't want to take a bad penalty right now with his team having the two-goal lead. Heatley plays hard, doesn't he? University of Wisconsin. Al, I had a, a golf tournament two summers ago, and Heatley came to it. He had just been drafted, not signed. And I had a stick from the Olympics used by Yarmir Yager. And the kid looked at the stick and looked at the stick and it was like Christmas morning for him. Then they had the auction and he started to bid on it. Then the dollars got up pretty high in the kid's arm. He hadn't signed yet. <laughs> and he couldn't get in. And he was, I thought he was going to cry that he couldn't get the stick. He must have said to himself, one day I'll be able to bid yeah. on that stick. Well, right now he certainly can. Times change quickly as soon as he autographed the contract. As they announced his name. He's a good kid and he's a great player already. 1-thing playing on a team like this he gets a ton of ice time. Ray Ferraro lost an edge he goes down into the boards out comes Eric Lindros ahead for Mike York who lets fly and it's deflected high up into the crowd 1432 to go in the third period. Now the Rangers next game is Tuesday night. They'll welcome Joe Sackick and the Avalanche. Catch Geico Rangers game night from our beautiful new studio at 7.30. Then the Rangers and the Avs at 8. Tuesday night right here on MSG. And the Avalanche are just another team that shows the year after the Stanley Cup can be a very difficult thing. Not for Patrick Waugh. Third straight shutout today. You're right. They don't score many goals. And very similar to New Jersey in that respect after playing so hard all last season. But Patrick Waugh keeps him in every game. Three straight shutouts out. And I don't, I, I don't, I think the, the NHL record is four. But three straight for Patrick Waugh, who's on the very, very top of his game. In the second half today, he was brilliant against New Jersey. Tapper beaten to the puck by Richter. Rips it around the boards. It's kept in by the Thrashers. Now Samuelson, again it goes in the air. Dave Carpa, he flips it in to get it deep. Rangers make one shade, say a change. Klocek off and Ulanov in. Under 14 minutes to go in the third period. Nedved. Now Samuelson, bad giveaway. Chance for Kavalcha. Oh, he's got a good sense. He knows where to be. Another chance for the Thrashers. Another chance with the puck. Loose in the slot for Yuri Slager. That hit the side of the goal. One turnover. Look what happens. The pass was into the feet of Samuelson. He couldn't handle it. The Thrashers got the puck back. And these kids, Kovalchuk and Heatley, go to work. Back of the game. Sandy McCarthy hits Yuri Slager. Slager's a, remember it. Slager's a big guy. McCarthy caught him and flattened him. Very shaky start to this third period for the Rangers. They give up a quick goal, and now they're giving up chance after chance. Yeah. Another one for Pascal Rayon. You know, the, 
Rangers. We talked about all their shots on goal now. 39 after two periods. Well, they still have 39. But right now, Atlanta now has 36. And look at the faceoff play. Man, Kovalchuk went right past Ulanov, and Richter stopped that shot with his right shoulder. Rangers make a change. They changed the guys. And they need a change after having giving up a scoring chance like that off a faceoff. You have to take the body, you have to slow people down and play smart. Right now, Mike Richter is standing on his head, is what he's doing. Hockey lingo for being, in other words, he's being exceptional. Shots are nine and zip Atlanta here in the third period. When's the first time you heard stood on his head? <laughs> and who were they Why referring do you ask to? Me these questions? I don't know, because you know all this stuff. Referring to the goaltender. Lindros to Theo Fleury. His intended pass hits the back of the net. And the Thrashers take it away. Kovalchuk, fastest guy on the team. Now Mike York. Theo Fleury. Lindros has it coming in on Rhodes. He scores! And the Rangers are back to a three-goal lead. What a night for Eric Lindros. And the passing between these three is something special right now. Well, the Rangers needed something as this Atlanta team, this young team, was not showing any quit. They were really battling. And the Rangers made a nice play at their own blue line, and here's the transition game. York, Flurry, Lindros, and goodbye. <laughs> First shot on goal on Damian Rhodes. This second pass right here by Flurry, a little flip pass through the middle was beautiful. Slager, the defenseman, got absolutely frozen. Number 71. He was frozen solid just inside the blue line. Lindros had the speed. The passing was beautiful. And it's 5-2 Rangers. Oh, the Rangers needed that to uh, sort of stem the tide. And maybe it's predictable for Atlanta and, and how they're pushing to score that next goal. Watch Lindros read the play, Al. Slows down. Doesn't get the first pass, but gets the second pass. Settled the puck down, and the hands are coming alive, aren't they? He, he goes in, he knows where he's going with the puck, he's calm with it. Went right around Damian Rhodes to score earlier in the game when he set up Malakoff. He, he faked the shot. Two players dropped down, including the goaltender, and he made the beautiful pass to Malakoff. So he's reading those plays in his mind by instinct now in the offensive zone. 5-2 Rangers coming up on 12 minutes to go in the third period. Lindros, his 11th, second of the game from Florian York. And if ever a goal, here's another chance. Dvorak in front. It was Berard who had the opportunity in the slot. If ever there was a goal that defined where this line is right now, that's it. Time of the goal, 7.34. Seeger with Messier and Dvorak, and they'll check out, and the new line will check in. Manny Moholtra's group with Steve McKenna. McKenna for Moholtra. Now it's off the stick of Sandy McCarthy. And Reardon takes a stick up to the face. I don't see the referee's hand in the air. He is down. Now slowly getting up. And the puck actually goes off his shin pad. And there's a penalty to Reardon for pulling down Sandy McCarthy. Reardon's hot. He's going to have a discussion with the referee who is down at his end of the ice. Let's go to Bill Daughtry at the MSG Sports Desk for an update. Bill with the hold. Todd Reardon for holding at 8.51. And the Rangers with the power play. And the Rangers are one for four on the power play so far tonight. And the uh, Rangers are offside on the carry across. Al, a good little play by Richter. When you're a goaltender and you stop the puck behind the net, get it six or eight inches away from the board so the defenseman moving in could take the puck on the forehand or the backhand. Richter this time, when he stops the puck behind the net, the puck's up against the boards. So he stops, goes back and gets it, and then pulls it off the boards for his defenseman. You don't want to, as a goaltender, leave, to leave that puck tight against the boards. Well, that's if, a cool subtlety. Yeah, if you go by it, and you go to get it, well, your stick may catch the board, you miss the puck. But if it's off the board, six or eight inches, you can get it cleanly. Crashes just smash it to the other end. That one eludes Mike Richter. And Brian Berard's got a little challenge in the corner with Tapper. Oh, Leach is right there to pick his pocket. Now Lindros flips it across. 
It's deflected, but it's on the stick of Mike York. York with help from Leach. That one comes out to center, and the Rangers will have to reset the power play unit. 5-2 Rangers. And the Thrashers are able to get it out to center. Leach is there. Cross ice for Brian Berard. Leach for Eric Lindros. Two goals and a brilliant game. Look at that sliding along the boards. Back for Lindros. What passing. Berard. Punks at Lindros' feet as he battles with Tamer. Sparta Vedette is also there for the Atlanta Thrashers. It's a long scrum along the boards. Seeger gets it around for Leach, but it eludes him. Now a foot race. Leach and Sean Donovan. Donovan able to take the puck. Here's a chance. Richter, and it goes off the post. That sort of came out of nowhere. Smart for that. Pair smart for that had the chance for the Atlanta Thrashers. Well, you credit Richter, even though the puck hit the post, for getting out there and making the goal scoring attempt, making the player lose his balance. Donovan just takes off as Leach had trouble with the puck, and what a battle this was. And then the puck is moved blindly, and now the play's at the net. And Leach made Svartvada make a play quickly. Here's the battle on the boards, and Donovan hustles here, makes a nice play, finds the puck. Svartvada is the recipient of the loose puck, moves in. Richter was aggressive, went the poke check, the player went flying over top and hit the post, had some trouble finishing and hit the post. Radek Dvorak carrying all the way through. Sends it back, but it's between the point men. Ulanov back for Vladimir Malakov. Messier pressured by, pressured by Tapper. Ulanov avoids him. Leads for Messier. Messier waiting, carrying. Drops it for Seeger. Messier back to the puck, and he flips it. Rhodes makes the save. Puck still loose. It's in the slot. Dvorak couldn't slam it in. Tapper, stopped by Ulanov, solidly. Messier wheels around. Stops and holds. Spins again. Cross-eyes Ulanov. Back for Messier, I think, but Messier was in the middle of a change. So Ulanov has to go back to the puck. What a weird sequence of passing that was. Coming up on eight minutes to go in the third period. Thrashers with the kill. Reardon is okay after that high stick to the face. He's back out of the penalty box. Now Nedved and Samuelson. They go side by side. Drop for Johansson. Waits. That was off the stick of Reardon. Now Johansson with Samuelson. Samuelson reverses. Johansson pinned by Pascal Rayon. Puck's just sitting there. Finally, Samuelson comes in. Now it's a two-on-two -two battle in the corner. The Thrashers have it. Now the Rangers have it back. Yeah, penalty up behind the play again, going to Atlanta. Uh, that's not yes. how you come back from 5-2 down. Reardon again. He's getting upset. Five gone to the locker room. And... The Rangers now can almost close out this game up a man. Lindros fires and scores! Let the hats fly at Madison Square Garden on a memorable night for Eric Lindros. It is 6-2. And the fans react. The hats start to litter the ice service. December of 99 was his last hat trick. And he gets one here. It's a power play goal. The power play will continue. And the hats continue to fly as Eric Lindros is a New York Ranger. December 9th, 1999 was his last one. I think the marriage between the Lindros and the fans solidified itself against Philadelphia last Wednesday. And it's continued. How about this give and go? Hey, Lindros to Flurry, back to Lindros, and wham. These guys, the Flurry's a passer in this game. He's made some gorgeous passes. Lindros, with that shot that he has, if he hits the net, 
He'll score goals. How about his goal of 300 tonight, Al? Was that a shot on Nalitska uh, earlier in the game? Your basic 10-foot one-timer. Oh, and this one went through the legs. Hat still coming down. <laughs> the goal of his NHL career. Eric Lindros registers, registers his first hat trick since 1999. They are on their feet and standing at the guard. You know, Al, you watch that line. I hope he runs down and tries to get it back. I'll run down and keep that as a souvenir. Lindros gets his 12th. A flurry in York. The line does it again. And the power play continues at 6-2 Rangers. That's right. They don't erase the time on the five-minute major, so this can get really ugly for the Atlanta Thrashers, who haven't won a game in their last nine. And in that nine, they had one tie, and they had lost eight in a row. But watching this line in this game tonight has been a thing of beauty. York, Lindros, Flurry. Nice to see here the Rangers' fourth line get power play work. Leach. And now Berard, back for Leach. McCarthy, Malholtra, and Steve McKenna are the line that J.D. is talking about for the Rangers. Big blast. Rangers up 6-2 to two with six and a half to go. Tapper saved by Richter off the pads. And what will be lost in this final score if it stays close to this is how Mike Richter, when this was 4-2, made some amazing saves that prevented this game from becoming 4-3 and who knows what after that. Yeah, Atlanta had the first nine shots of the third period. It is going to be a tough battle coming up with the three stars in this game, isn't it? <laughs> Might be the line. It could be Richter involved. It'll certainly be all Rangers. And they get to look forward to seeing the Stanley Cup champions come in Tuesday night, the Colorado Avalanche with Patrick Waugh playing as well as he's ever played his entire career. Man, is he hot. Peter Nedved's had an off night, John. A lot of blind passes, a lot of pucks off the stick. A lot of things not happening for him. Here's Nedved. Waiting. Ulana barely keeps it in. Nedved. Down low Samuelson. Or Johansson, rather. And that sports out of the zone. 2.50 to go in the... Man advantage for the Rangers. 5.20 to go in the hockey game. So, John, I think Ranger fans want to know. They're starting to believe a little something's going on. They're in first place. They'll stay there tonight. It's a nice run of points in consecutive games. It would be eight. How good is this team? I think it's a team that's probably in the neighborhood of 70% of how good they can be. So what does that mean? I think they could be very good. They're killing penalties better. The power play is coming alive somewhat. Still too porous in their own zone. But the combinations, especially the Lindros line, that line's now one of the top lines in the game this season. I, I, I can't say they're the best line, but they're certainly one of the, of the best. A good test will be Tuesday night. The Avalanche, they know how to win games. But I think the Rangers have a chance of becoming good. The speed of Kowalczyk really is something to marvel at. Ryan Burrard there with him. Seeger spins around. Now he's got it. Malikoff sends it around the boards, and Seeger looks cross ice but holds. Cuts behind Radek Dvorak. Doesn't get it deep enough, and the Thrashers are able to smack it out. Four minutes to go here at the Garden. I think another player who's lost. In a fabulous game here tonight is Vladimir Malikov. He's yeah. done some great stuff. He sure has. And I think Mark Messier's played well, too, Al. First period when the Rangers started the game, I thought his line was the best line. And then all of a sudden, uh, come the second period, the Lindros line took over and controlled the whole game. Leach carries deep. Drops for Flurry. Coming in on the rebound. Damian Rhodes made the save. Now it's Tapper. He doesn't tap that one. He lets it go, and Mike Richter makes the save. And hangs on. All right, let's oh. go back to the trivia. For some reason, I thought this question was going to take us back to the days of the Edmonton Oilers when they uh, entered the National Hockey League, but uh -huh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to—I really don't have a good guess. I'm going to go with Ottawa, Yashin, and Alfredson. Yeah, I'm going to go with them, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> 
I'm going to Washington and Alfredson. Look at that. We didn't get it right. No. Do we get half credit? Huh? Yeah. Is that real hair? Well, you know, this being the hair club for men, we, we try our network. Yeah. <laughs> MSG. The no hair network. <laughs> Coming up on three minutes to go in the third period. The Rangers had a complicated exodus from Pittsburgh. When the game was over, they realized the city was fogged in, and so they had to go instead from the charter flight home back to the hotel and then leave this morning. But no residual, residual effect here in this game tonight. Short trip. It was very easy today. It's only an hour flight from Pittsburgh. The Rangers flew into Newark. How did quickly Sam, over to the city? How did Sam get oh, to North Carolina? Last night he was very uh, worried about getting up early this morning, getting there for the football game. So he actually uh, got in a car last night at about midnight or one in the morning, drove to Cleveland, which is a three and a half hour drive, and then caught a flight after a couple hours sleep and got to Charlotte at 10 a.m. in time for the game that started at one. Oh, that three and a half hour drive, that must have been a lot of fun. Oh, yeah, be thrilling and fog, <laughs> or at least part of the way it was. So the big story tonight, the Rangers top line, a hat trick from Eric Lindros. The Rangers got the first goal, then it was 1-1, then they added three more to close out the second period. The Thrashers, well, they rolled the dice and went for it all in the opening minutes of this third period, and the Rangers looked vulnerable. But then an Eric Lindros goal gave them the three-goal lead again, and that's where we stand with 2.23 to go. It's been not only a great game for Theo Fleury, Eric Lindros, and Mike York. This has been a fabulous season for these two, three. 49 combined points in the last 12 games. And when they discovered this three and this combination, and it started to come together, and Lindros worked on his hands, and, well, it's really been great. Right now, the Rangers lead at 6-2 to two as we come up on the final two minutes of the third period here at Madison Square Garden. Sandy McCarthy moving up ice with Steve McKenna. And yeah, McKenna just tries to get it deep. Gets it about 10 yards into the Atlanta zone. For Atlanta, the uh, woes will continue. Richter forced to make yet another save, and the puck is cleared. Hey, John, some Ranger fans might have seen that name of Alexander Dagg in the trivia question and said, man, whatever happened to that guy? We thought you he know, could have been so good. Yeah, I think he's retired from hockey. Al. Last I heard, he was living in Los Angeles and I think trying to get into the acting world. I don't know if it worked. 39 shots now for Atlanta in this game. Mike Richter, if he sees 40, will be 22, 3, and 7 in his last 32 games that he's faced 40 or more shots, if they get the 40th shot. Three and one this season are the Rangers and Mike Richter when he sees 40 or more shots. The guy's in great shape, focused. Goaltending has been the backbone of the Rangers so far this season with both Mike Richter and Dan Blackburn. And when this game is over, he'll probably go in there and ride the stationary bike for a while too, won't he? Yeah, a lot of players. You know, it was interesting you say that. Uh, recently there was a game here, and I walked by the Rangers locker room after the game, and Mark Messier, along with Eric Lindros, the two of them, we're in the room riding the bike. This was after a win at home. Those two have really bonded. Yeah, they have. Oh, this team, the chemistry of the Rangers is the best I've seen in years as a group. They pull for their coaches. They pull for their teammates. What Ron Lowe has been through for him to come back and get a nice win like this after seeing his brother suffer for months and finally pass away from that cancer. It's been a tough go for him, but the Rangers have hung together. And they're just, I think, finding themselves as a team. We'll see how much they improve as the season moves along. And I think they're starting to believe it on. Look at him. He's, he's a major league goaltender. Mike Richter makes another save with 40 seconds to go. That's the 39th shot by the Atlanta Thrashers. Oh, make it 40. The 40th shot. Fanning on the chance is Peter Nedved. 25 seconds to go. The Rangers will begin a new streak. They won six in a row. Got a point out of an overtime loss. And here, they get a point in eight straight games. And those fans left are all on their feet. The last 16 points available to the Rangers, Al, they've gotten 15 of them. They lead their division. As this one's finished, 6-2 Ranger win, the Lindros line, 
Had a great night. Richter was solid goal. And I, to be frank, really look forward to Tuesday when the Colorado Avalanche come in. That should be a good He's not selected. Yes, the whole line. The line was great. Neil Flurry's passing tonight was unreal. The chemistry that he has with Lindros and York. Now watch the three of them stay out here. And they'll give each other. I've never seen this myself live. I was not here Wednesday night, but they did it after the game against the Flyers. The line stays out together, then they leave off the ice. Now the other night, didn't they hug each other? They ended up, yeah, a little more animated than what we saw tonight. 